Hi guys, it's Mary, and so I have these pets that, um, I kind of put nail polish on and ruined a bit, and I said they need to be fixed up. This is the bunny with the base that came from McDonald's. I've removed the base and stuff, and it's all smooth underneath, and I took acetone to the bunny to remove paint that was on it I just removed everything because just give this bunny a whole new start so all clean from the acetone and then I was gonna try and color this with pastels but then I realized the pastels weren't taking it to the body fast enough for my liking so I went and used acrylics so for the main the pastel I used was the um, Alpha Color Pastels, in case you were wondering, and the one I took on there was the red. red. Square Pastels. Non-toxic! Why? Thank you. Okay, and since that didn't work, what I ended up doing was creating a purple marshmallow bunny. And I used the Crafters Edition um, Purple in 72024. All the colors I used will be in the description below. So, and I used that color on the base. And I did most of the coloring. Oh, here we are. We're getting those colors. Oh, I used the blue. Never mind. I used the blue. I used teal. So. Oh, well, there's that. And that didn't last long. The idea did not last long at all. And, yeah, we have that. So here we are getting back to that paint again. I'm using a purple. It's a really deep, rich purple. And I didn't shake the bottle and we have this runniness. And I found really early on in the first coat that paint likes to um, gather in the eye socket. And I'm being fun. And I dropped the camera a few times. So, just that. And the uh, color. Because so, it wasn't mixed up, it wasn't as thick. So, it's a really shabby layer. I end up having to mix it with a brush, and that, that was some fun. And, yeah. So, I started like the first two or three layers I did um, the whole body just once in one go and there were patchy spots because of that and it took a few days to do so yeah and so I did one <laughs> layer of the top the hair stuff most of this is just me painting the body and yeah and so I did one layer of the top and then the right ear and the tail and the muzzle and the eyes I had to get right up close for little details and stuff so I didn't end up filming those and I dropped my camera twice and after a second time I dropped it I was, uh, um, or the camera fell I didn't drop it I knocked the tripod over and it fell on my desk and so it's that it's layer two right here and I'm going to tell you the color so the deep purple I used for the whole body I used like five coats then I took three coats for those light purple areas of the apple barrel petunia purple well that's going to be later and I have a lot of colors to go through so yeah and then the eyes were a mix of all my greens, or four of my greens. So, 
the Apple Barrel Christmas Green, the Apple Barrel Kelly Green, um, the Delta Cermacote Christmas Green. Um, you know what? I don't think you had to use this many. It's the difference in the difference between Delta and Apple Barrel is that the Delta was a more bluey green, and then this was a more forest or greeny green. And then I used the Apple Barrel Gloss Sublime Lime for little highlights in the eyes, and uh, yeah. And I don't have a pure white acrylic, and because I, I lost it. Great. I need to plug it and buy more. Anywho, so the eyes I did an off-white with a mix of like this burnt or yellowy Pinelli. I did a Pinelli, mixed a Pinelli acrylic and um, water white. So the color it's like this dusty brown. And it came out with this cream that I also used on the tip of the ear as well for the whites of the eyes. I think it came out pretty nice. And yeah, I did a lot of... It's around this time I got a glove on. I went and put a glove on so I wouldn't get paint on my hand and while holding the bunny. And I, it's also around this time that I started um, painting the body and the head separately instead of in one go. Ooh, and the glove I used in this video ripped their disposable plastic gloves, so I'm not that worried about them. And there is not much else. Oh yeah, so the final product with those little details and that I didn't get to film were were fun and yeah I think that's all I have to say really happy with the final product uh, um shatter will the intro I have I, I I got the songs and it might be comical but the intro song shatter me it really startling and um it's really shatter me and um Others, I have to be film because we lost film. So there's that too. And because uh, I, I had a dumb moment. So, yeah. And I keep taking it off the screen. <sighs> when will I learn where my screen is? I don't know. They have me paint the body separately. Uh, back to Shatter, um, the intro I'll play separately from, um, the first episode, because I can. And, just that. And, it's me painting it again again with my fifth coat and not being on screen. This weirdness right here is from me turning on a lamp because it was getting dark out and I, I figured you guys want to see it so that as well and this is the longest video that I have ever made and my camera tipped over again oh so another one and uh, um so, I think that's all. Oh, oh misty see you guys at the end of the show. The mountain below. Keep careful watch of my brother's souls. And should the sky be filled with fire and smoke. Keep watching over during suns If this is to end in fire 
And we shall all burn together Watch the flames climb high Into the night Calling out Father Oh, stand by and we will Watch the flames burn all along The mountainside And if we should die tonight, we should all die together. Raise a glass of wine for the last time. Calling out, Father, prepare as we will watch the flames burn over. Desolation comes upon the sky Now I see fire Inside the mountain I see fire Burning the trees And I see fire Hollow in soul And I'm really happy with how it turned out. If you like this, please don't forget to like and you can subscribe. Um, the shadow trailer is right here, here on the right. And if you want to see more arty stuff, there is I do have an art channel. It's there on the left, and as you can see, and the link will be in the description for those of you on mobile. Oh yeah, have a great day. Bye.